friends welcome to sixth part of our lecture permutation write the short form for this that is this is an id mapping i'll represent this as e and for this the short form is 2 3 and for this the short form is 1 3 i think we have already discussed it okay i'll just take this as an example and i'll explain since one is mapped to one itself i'm not going to start with one so uh i'll start with two i'm going to fill up the box in such a way that it is f of 2 since 2 is mapped to 3 i write this 3 here i'm going to fill up the box in such a way that of course it is f of 3 3 is mapped to 2 you'll write you'll get like 2 3 2 3 2 3 2 3 it goes on so i stop with only 2 and 3 and write it here this is a short form i mean you can represent this permutation in this way in a short form way and you can represent this as a uh, 1 2 this as um, 1 is mapped to 2 3 and this as 1 3 2 and you are going to and we can write the transposition of this as 1 3 1 2 and for this as 1 2 and 1 3 that is first and the last first and the previous last first and the last first and the previous last that is uh, these two are not the same because you can if you switch this trans i mean uh 1 2 to here it will get this 1 2 and 1 3 okay but these two permutations are not the same just please look for this because I mean many people go wrong here they'll think like 1 3 1 2 are same as 1 2 and 1 3 but this gives different permutation please be aware of it so sn the set of elements within this bracket uh, i mean this is this is the part of this i mean okay i have explained this here i explained the short form for this this no connection was okay mm. sn this the number of elements within this bracket is n factorial we have already discussed is 3 factorial so merely n factorial and the order of sn is n factorial I think you have understood the topic. I mean, you have understood the order and how we have written this number of permutations very well. 